My name is Morgan Beckstrom and I've rodeoed ever since my the junior high, fifth and under. I was really happy that I got to compete at the KK Run for Vegas Junior World Finals. So I've always told my mom that I wanted to qualify for it and oh it was super exciting just seeing everybody get there and it was everyone was just signing like autographs and everything and it's like it was like you knew that this was the big thing that everyone just came to everyone came to win and do good at it so you were, had some pressure on you but it was really good. The first round I just really wanted to keep barrels up it, and it was a really small pattern. I've never ran in a small pattern like that. I was second the first day and second the second day with uh, 13.9 the first day and 13.8 the second day. And the short go, I knew that I had to keep my barrels up to be in the average because me and this girl had ran the identical times pretty much the first two rounds. And we got to the short go and I was just like, had a lot of pressure on me, but Right when I went in the alleyway, I knew that Slingshot was going to do her job and do it for me. So I just went in, took a deep breath, and just let her go. And she came out, and she ran a 13.8, and I was super excited. I was really nervous. Like my grandpa said, he goes, when I came out of the alleyway, he said, that's the most nervous I've ever seen you. And I was like, yeah, I've never been that nervous. And I was just, I didn't know why I was that nervous. I don't really usually get nervous, but I just... After I started running, I just felt like I just need to keep my barrels up and no matter what, as long as Slingshot was okay, I was gonna be good, so it was really good. I've been riding Slingshot for two years and those two years have been probably the most amazing years I've had and she's just done really good and she always puts 100% in every run and she always makes sure that, that she does good and she's taking care of herself and taking care of me and I'm just, really happy she does that for her and me. She is nine years old and she, her dad is the Goodbye Lane. He's our stud. My grandma and grandpa own him and we've had him for a couple, a lot of years now, but we've bred a lot of horses to him and we, we're riding a lot now out of him, so it's really fun. My grandpa has always said that I'd fit slingshot and I, he's always said that I was a really aggressive rider and she needs an aggressive rider so I was really glad that I got to ride her and I know every time she comes out of the alleyway I always thank her and I'm just really excited that I get to ride her but yeah she's, she's a fun one to have. <laughs> so I won the trailer and the saddle, I won a buckle case and then I won a Louis Vuitton purse and then uh, over and under and then like a hay bag, a halter, a breast collar but I didn't know that I was going to win the trailer and my sister was sitting in the stands and I, I had got all my other prizes and they all came down and my mom started videoing and I thought she was taking pictures of me and I kept looking over at her and then they announced that I won the trailer and I had no idea and I was just in total shock. <laughs> but it was a really great feeling. The running the horses is the best thing. It's like the best feeling you could ever feel and I've just always loved that. The prizes and money, that's just a plus on it, but the riding is more important and rodeo is a really big thing to people and they work really hard and they've worked pretty much their whole lives to get to this point and it's just really great and as long as you keep working you're just going to keep getting better and better.